dreams, aspirations, goals. Some of us set ourselves some audacious and ambitious objectives, pushing ourselves, challenging ourselves, testing ourselves. Why? Why go through that pain when we can choose the easy path through life? Going with the flow. Letting life decide for ourselves. But maybe objectives give us a heading. Maybe it's just not important what these aspirations are, but rather having one at all. Like a shining star guiding us through life's treacherous waters. Like a heading that enables us to navigate to a defined destination. Could this be what drives us? After an emotionally powerful race in Zermatt several weeks back, I now have only two races to go before my ultimate challenge of running my first ever 100 km race. And one race I absolutely wanted to get checked off my preparation bucket list was the prestigious Sierzinal race, which is part of the Golden Trail series, the world championship of trail running that attracts the world's top trail runners, including the Spaniard Kilian Jornet, who is the reference in the sport. It's a privilege to actually be able to run by their side, the same day, on the same course. A course that is known for its difficulty, but also its stunning beauty, nicknamed the race of the five four thousands. As during the race, we have a view on five four thousand summits. The Weisshorn at 4,506 meters, the Zinal Rotorn, 4,221 meters, the Oberg Gabelhorn, 4,063 meters, the Matterhorn, 4,478 meters, and finally the Dom Blanche at 4,357 meters. All right, so we're at the Sierra Zinal, uh, starting in, uh, in waves. We have a time slot to uh, to start the race. Um, not sure exactly how it works, but uh, looks uh, looks pretty uh, pretty well organized. So uh, so we'll see how it goes. I think it's about 30 odd uh, kilometers, and about uh, 2,000 meters uh, elevation gain it's without the poles, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a challenge. Merci. 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 The first part of the course takes me by surprise with its very steep incline. I try and trot up where I can, but I'm having to resort to walk fast most of the way. Today I want to set some sort of reasonable time on the course, and I therefore try and set a high pace, sometimes passing people, and sometimes being passed by some incredible athletes. And the pros haven't even set off yet. They are departing some two hours after me, and I'm hoping to reach the finish line before them. Ça ici, hein.
down to 5.2, about 1,200 meters ascent already. And I have no more water. And I haven't seen any aid stations yet. Oh man, thirsty. I should have taken two bottles. De l'eau, ouais. De l'eau, c'est là. So, kilometer 10, 11, uh, 2000 meters more or less. Done 1500 meters ascent already. Uh, first aid station finally. So, was able to add some water. Was uh, managed to find a stream as well, which was good. So, now uh, starting the next section, Let's see how it goes. Despite the very steep first part, I'm feeling pretty well at this point. I have only progressed 11 kilometers out of the 31 but have already done 1,500 meters climb in around two hours. The biggest descent is now behind me and I'm heading out of the tree line so I'm looking forward to being able to admire some of the incredible views that this course has to Merci. offer. In the meantime, the pros are getting ready for their start in Sierre and the best will finish in around two and a half hours. So I have to get a move on to arrive before them. The terrain is still going uphill, but much less steep than the first part and enables me to run somewhat as the five 4000s show up in front of me. What an amazing sight! Merci. I do my best to maintain a constant and high rhythm with the Weisshorn Hotel as my next milestone. Merci. I'm now around kilometer 15 and passing the Tinusa station at 2180 meters. Still feeling pretty well and managing to keep a certain pace at which I'm comfortable. I'm only halfway and cannot burn myself now. I have not yet hit the wall that very nearly crushed me in Zermatt several weeks back. But today the weather is on my side even though time is counted as heavy rain and thunderstorms are on their way from the west. I was running a triple race. One against myself to do a time that I'm happy with. Another to finish before the rain and the third to finish before the pros that have now set off on the same course. I admire the beautiful scenery in my concentration bubble, taking care of my breathing and my heart rate, and feeling pleased to be able to set a pace that I believe is good at this point in the race, giving me hope to finish the course in a good state. Kilometer 18 at 2,253 meters, 1,900 meters. Total ascent, tough.
now past the Weisshorn Hotel at kilometer 20, and I'm progressing more smoothly than I would have thought along the uphill section of this course. From this point on, it will be more of a downhill on some pretty technical sections with many stones. I dread twisting an ankle along here. I can't afford to injure myself before my 100 km race. I therefore progress carefully along these tricky sections and prefer sacrificing some time for some safety buffer. At this point in the race, I'm still feeling okay that the knees are starting to feel a little sore, but nothing to worry about. Mentally, I'm feeling strong as well. The weather is obviously helping a lot. I'm also looking forward to seeing my family in Zinal, which is helping me get some additional energy. So overall, I'm really enjoying the day out in the mountains today and getting a lot of satisfaction from the physical effort I'm putting in. In this race I'm trying different types of snacks, taking along some cheese sticks that bring a change from the cereal bars that I'm becoming really sick of. It does the trick as it goes down well and injects some well needed calories. I take the opportunity to walk a little and admire the great views that this course has to offer. In the meantime, the pros are well underway with their race. Many spectators are connected to the live feed of the race on their phones and I can hear that the pace of the pros is really strong and they're closing down on me really fast. What a great feeling to be competing at my lower level on the same day as the best in the world. I guess there are not that many sports in the world that enable amateurs to mix and mingle with the world's top athletes in the same event at the same time. All right, so we're at 2,417 meters. We've already done 2,100 meters ascent. Uh, three hours, 38 minutes. A beautiful landscape, absolutely incredible really inspiring but uh, not easy not easy I can feel the finish line approaching. With the rest of the course mostly on a downhill, I do my best to run most of the time. I might be able to fulfill my three objectives after all. I seem to be on a pretty good time, the rain has not arrived yet, and I might just make the finish before the pros bear down on me. <laughs> Zinal is now only five or six kilometers away and I just need to keep my rhythm without injuring myself in the process. The dream race is turning out really well for me today and it has not been the case in every event I took part in. Today, there really is a special satisfaction. I'm now reaching the famous steep downhill towards the beautiful Zinal village. 
I can already feel the excitement in the air of all the supporters waiting to welcome the runners at the finish line. But before crossing the line, I still need to battle this very tricky section of the course and my legs are on fire with so much pressure on them from the angle of this mountainside. The finish is now within reach. A truly epic race is nearing its end and I'm feeling great. I can't wait to see my family. I managed to finish the course in around 4 hours and 40 minutes, before the rain and before the pros. I'm ecstatic to have accomplished my objectives. In life, you have to allow yourself to dream. Dreaming big pushes yourself to set yourself ambitious goals, that pushes you onto new journeys in the world and within yourself. This passion rubs off onto others and will maybe inspire them to dream big as well. But today, my biggest victory is to cross that famous finish line with my daughter, who will in turn inspire her sister. Life's virtuous circle. Allow yourself to dream for yourself and for others. Regardez la arrivée, tout sourire. Et elle va réessayer de faire son. Voilà! <laughs> Ouais, magnifique course, hein, Moon Matisse, très solide, voilà, très qui, solide. Qui... Elle a répondu présente, elle a répondu présente après son petit coil de tour en c'est bien aujourd'hui. Voilà qui en elle profite. Fait... Ouais, elle profite de ses moments, hein. elle profite de ses moments. Ouais. Porte la 48e édition de Sierzinal. Alors voilà, restez avec nous, moi je vais essayer de me diriger vers la ligne d'arrivée, on est vraiment pas loin pour essayer d'aller discuter avec elle et prendre ses premières impressions. Voilà, donc... Euh... Pendant que Martin se dirige vers la ligne d'arrivée pour aller interviewer Maud Matisse, on va continuer de commenter de cette course avec l'arrivée de Kylian Jornet. Voilà, et lui aussi profite de ces moments et de partage avec le public de communion. Magnifique course, vainqueur 8 fois de Sardinal, c'est sa 9 victoire à Kylian Jornet. Le chouchou du public, magnifique, une icône, une idole. Il remporte Sardinal une 9 fois. Magnifique, deux champions qu'on a à l'image et que Martin aura la chance d'interviewer pour nous.